It didn't take long to know it was going to be a big fire uh, from the very beginning. It just had trouble written all over it. Normally when we see uh, a range fire burn through the evening and show active fire behavior the, the next morning, that's a, a really bad sign. And uh, it's very unusual for that to happen, let alone happen again the second night, happen again the third night, happen again the fourth night. It was a combination of probably all the elements that drive a fire. Um, we have heavy fuels, as you can see, uh, lots of fine fuels, lots of heavy fuels. Probably the biggest driving factor was uh, we had 30-year record low of uh, um, fuel moisture. So one of the ranchers came up to me and told me, he says, he said, Tom, he says, uh, he says, you could have had all of the engines in the world, heavy tankers in the world, and you wouldn't have been able to stop this one. It just went through everything faster than anything he'd ever seen before. Uh, with the advent of this fire, uh, due to displacement of various species, um, it's going to be a little more difficult uh, this season and probably for seasons to come in, in locating those game. And somebody this summer said, well, how's your grass out there this year? Well, I said, it's beautiful. And I said, it's about that tall. And and you can't hardly walk through it, it's a thing. And I said, it's just ready for a fire. <laughs>